Hey guys, what's up? Thomas here from MC Gaming, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial today for you guys. Um, we're gonna be installing the zombie mod pack uh, for Minecraft 1.3.1. .1. So as you all know, Minecraft 1.3.1 .1 has got updated uh, recently, and there will be a good few mods getting updated. But today's tutorial, I will be doing the zombie mod pack. But uh, if you want to see other tutorials coming up for any other mods, or you'd like any mod requests, leave a comment. But now to this tutorial. You wanna go to the first link in the description. Which will bring you on to the the farm, the zombie mod pack farm. And uh, once you're on the farm, you'll scroll down, and you'll see the current version 6.3 from Minecraft 1.3.1. And you just want to go on the download link, and that will bring you on. Um, to advertisement and skip ad at the very right top corner. I already have it downloaded, so there's no need to. So once you get that downloaded, you get wherever your downloads are, you can put it onto your desktop, or wherever you have it. I just bring it onto my desktop, so it's clear for you to see. Now before you go install the mods, one thing you should always do is back up your Minecraft. So what you want to do is go down to your down to your Windows icon. In the search bar, type in percent app data percent. I will spell that in the description for you guys. And uh you can probably see this anyways, but uh it comes up Roman at the top, and that's what you want to click onto. This is a folder with other folders inside it. And if you can't get into that and you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista, type in run and this little blue window will pop up here and I already have it up here but it should pop up uh, or if it's blank type in percent after eight percent there and press OK and it'll pop up in this window so that's two ways of doing it so now when you're, well, once you have this Roman window open at the very top folder you should see is your dot minecraft now once you're up here you don't want to go install the mods first before you make a backup file so what you want to do is right click on it you want to go copy and you want to right click wherever you want to paste your backup so I'm going to paste to my desktop so then it's going to go right click on your desktop and go paste and so as you can see it's going to paste all my items and this is a brand new dot minecraft so I have no mods installed or nothing so just in case you're wondering and um, once that's finished I'm just going to rename it so I'm going to rename this backup um, I'm just going to call it backup so I'll know what it is and just what it, you, you'll probably know what it is when it's called dot minecraft anyways but just in case so once you've backed up you can click inside it in here you should see a good few folders and then text document and a dat uh, file and all that you want to go inside your bin folder now inside your bin you should see a few jar files but the one you want to concentrate on is your minecraft.jar it's the largest file inside this folder inside the bin folder so once you have minecraft.jar click on it then right click and you will need an archiver program for this so i suggest you i'll put a link to winrare in the description or you can use 7zip and uh, you can get free trials out there, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Like you can get free trials, and uh, it's like 40 days or so, so that's pretty helpful. So I'm using WinRare. So once you're in the bin, and you find your Minecraft.jar, right-click on it. You want to go Open with, and then whatever archiver program you have, I have WinRare Archiver. So once you open that up, this is your Minecraft.jar. So you can leave your bin folder open. So just all you have to do is minimize it. Now this is your minecraft.jar, this is where all the modding mostly happens. So you want to just open it and put it full screen. And in here there's a load of class files that go down and down and down. And uh, yeah, we don't have to concentrate on that yet. The first thing you do when, inside your, when you're installing any mods, um, all you have to do is delete the meta inf uh, folder inside the minecraft.jar. So just right click on it and go delete files. It says are you sure? You press yes. So anytime you're installing mods, you make sure you delete that folder or else you're going to get to black screen as common once uh, people are installing mods. So once you have them in, uh, keep minimizing your windows whenever you're going out, make sure you don't be exiting out of them. So once you uh, delete your meta inf folder, minimize your micro.jar, open up your zombie mod pack. In here you should see a folder called classes. Now you're going to open that class folder and you should see a good uh, go to class files and you want to put that in a smaller window bring it over to the side of your computer bring that over to, bring, open your minecraft.jar so basically what I've done is I put the, sm the um, zombie mod pack fold uh, winner text over here and I've got my minecraft.jar open on full screen so I'm gonna copy all these so I'll highlight them all up to the very top make sure you do not catch the top folder because that doesn't have to be put in just all the class files from the very bottom you're going to drag them or copy and paste them into your minecraft.jar a window will pop up whatever archive program you have I'm using WinRare uh, a window will pop up uh, make sure it's on add and replace files for update mode uh, press ok and it should do a little flash and it's extracted into your minecraft.jar so you're done with that class file so all you have to do is either click the double 
dot at the top will bring you back or just eggs out of it and go back to your zombie mod pack. Now the last thing we need to do is bring in your config and all in here you'll have text documents, um, all dot text files. So you want to put this in the smaller window again and you're finished with your minecraft.jr so you can just exit out your minecraft.jr now you don't need to minimize you can exit out of it. Go back on your uh, dot minecraft where you had the bin click back on the arrow or just click dot minecraft at the top it'll bring you back just inside your dot minecraft and if you exit out of that by accident go percent update a percent and uh, go and click on dot minecraft and it'll bring you into here where your bin this is back to the beginning so you got your class files installed now the last thing is your configs where you can control where you got what keys you want to fly there's all different texts in here so in here you want to create a new folder inside just inside your dot minecraft you want to go right click you want to go new and you want to go folder and you want to call this folder mods with no capitals just lowercase letters mods you want to click inside that and you want to create a new folder again so that's inside the mods folder you just created and you want to call this zombie z-o-m-b-e the mod the way the mod is spelled just z-o-m-b-e and you want to click inside that and you want to highlight all these text documents inside the folder in your inside the zombie mod pack and you want to drag them into the zombie folder you just created and once they're all in you can edit out your zombie mod pack you're finished with that now now that that is all the installing done you're done but you just need to do a bit of messing around with your config and i'll show you that now a uh, quick little tutorial so just when i go on your config it'll be the top document at the top double click on it now in here it'll give you instruction itself but i know what most of you here for the zombie fly mod so you just want to scroll down a bit i put this full screen and you want to look for the fly mod and uh, once you found it i'll just show you how to enable it and you can mess around with the settings so here it is zombie uh, fly mod aka flying this is the one you want to look out for well most of you here maybe not so at the top this is the way you enable mods it's already on yes but technically it's not because you have to get rid of these hash signs so once you remove that it is enabled so that is uh... you'll have to do this with a few of the mods you want like craft mod i don't know what that is but if you want it you just tick the on or delete the hash sign and that will enable it like i said there's instructions at the top but if you most of you here for the fly mod so just remove the hashtag in front of mod fly enable equals yes and that will enable it and you can mess around with the controls here and you can do that in the game too and you can adjust the speed you want to do in the game and all that but i'm gonna let you mess around with that and once you're done uh, messing around with it just make sure you go file and save once it's saved you can exit out of it now you can open up your minecraft and run it and then you want to log in wait for it now there we go let me put my password in and log in and once this is in I'm to bring you into a world and show you that the flying is enabled but create a new world and this is the fight this is the survival uh, mode so it's not creative or anything like that and once it's in all you have to do is press F in it to enable the mod so once you're in the game all you have to do is press F and it should pop up and I'm in the water and I'm gonna get back up or once I'm on land I will show you there we go so once you press F the top corner you will see flying or sorry the top left corner you will see a flying uh, which means you are flying but you'll have to mess around with the settings because you, if you want to go up in the air it'll, E is to go up by default but you also open your infantry so that's where you need to mess around with your settings guys and I'll let you do that by yourselves um, some people have videos on good uh, controls for this flying mod uh, videos out there so yeah you can look that up but uh, if this video helped you guys please uh, leave a like or a rating and uh, comment if you want any other mod requests and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, tutorials and thanks for watching guys